I'm behind the camera for this next video, which is for object-orientated programs, because the best way of describing an object-orientated program is to use some real-world examples. In the real world, as you can see, we have lots of different objects, such as this sleek black box which forms a computer. Now inside there, there are millions of different little components all working together, but we don't really care about what's actually inside it for the purpose of it being a computer. We just want to be able to interact with it with single input buttons and have certain outputs from it. It doesn't matter which process is inside necessarily, which site, how big the memory is, how big the hard drive is. We're not really overly concerned about things like that. All we care about is the fact that we have this object called a computer. Now, object-oriented programs work in the same way. We bundle related code and data, such as the variables we might need, all together in a single object. And say we need more than one of those objects, like we have more than one computer, we can create multiple copies of it within the same environment, such as this room. If at any point I want to make a change to the code that makes up a computer, I can just take that object out and replace it with a new object. And by doing that, I don't actually affect the rest of the program around us. For example, it, changing this one computer will not change the classroom. This makes life a lot easier for programmers, as you can possibly imagine.